So good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the 12th edition of PyCon India. This year, it's really good to be uh, here back among the community. And uh, it's really great feeling to uh, have you all among us joining us for this virtual conference. Uh, and uh, one of the thing is that we, uh, I hope everyone is doing safe and are, do is, uh, are doing well. So yeah, so welcome, as I told, welcome everyone, welcome all the speakers, welcome all the keynotes, welcome all the sponsors who took their time out to attend this conference. And uh, finally, the, I would welcome the volunteers who have been doing an amazing job for a uh, couple of months now. And this is uh, their last uh, uh, put forward through the event. Uh, going forward, as I told uh, the sponsors, uh, without whom the event would not have been possible, they have been a huge support for PyCon India conference. I would like to thank uh, our platinum sponsors, Microsoft Azure uh, and uh, D Shaw, our gold sponsor, EPAM and Auth0. Next, uh, I would like to thank our silver sponsors, DeepSource, uh, Toyota Connected, Red Hat, GitHub, Essentia, and JetBrains. And finally, uh, our starter sponsors, Piper Academy. Now, going back, let me tell you uh, about PyCon India. For There are a lot of folks uh, I'm expecting who are joining the PyCon India conference for the first time. So giving them a glimpse of what is PyCon India. So this is our 12th uh, year anniversary. So we are doing it for the 12th time. It started back in 2009. And uh, it's a totally volunteer driven conference. So uh, every bit of work that you see in PyCon India is done by a volunteer or is uh, uh, basically it's a community effort that has been uh, going on for 12 years now. And I would really uh, give a huge shout out to all the volunteers who have may helped make this possible. Uh, it would be a four day event. So today, as you know, is the conference day. Um, so October 2nd and October 3rd uh, would be our conference day. It would be followed by the uh, workshop day, which is uh, October 4th. Uh, it's a, only a one day event. And then we all are also having a developer sprint or as you call it, dev sprints on October 4th and October 5th. So um, I hope you all have a very good time in the next four days and you get to learn a lot, you get to interact a lot and you get to uh, meet a lot of new people. Uh, we uh, saw expected registrations around 2000 plus people. So it's good to know that uh, we are having a huge crowd coming down to PyCon India um, and being part of the community. So uh, now going forward, I would like to introduce on uh, how the setup is because sadly this year, we the idea was to go, uh, we would be having a huge offline conference, but then uh, due to the unprecedented times, we, are, uh, we had to change our whole uh, plan to an online conference. So uh, with this new setup, every, uh, for everyone, it is a new thing. Uh, being the whole virtual conference, the whole concept of virtual conference is pretty new. So uh, one thing I would like to tell is uh, I would like to guide you through all the platforms that we are using through uh, this event. So the first thing we have Hopin, uh, where you are probably seeing me live doing this talk and uh, you will be seeing all the keynote talks and probably it's the basically the attendee platform that we have where all the interaction would happen. We have the communication platform, which is Zulip. Uh, Zulip is a platform where uh, it's primarily text-based. There's no audio video, it's primarily text-based. So anything that you want to uh, do uh, in terms of text, so you can hop over on Zulip. Uh, lastly, we have uh, StreamYard. So StreamYard is our broadcast studio. So all the speakers, keynotes, uh, anyone giving a talk would be joining our StreamYard. They probably would have uh, received the guidelines that uh, they will be uh, following through. And uh, yeah, so uh, they would be primarily following the uh, StreamYard guidelines and uh, it would be broadcasted over to Hopin. Uh, now, I'll try to take you through each of the Hopin stages because I would love like or to speak like it would be a great thing that you get, make the most out of the conference. So I'll take you through all the uh, Hopin uh, uh, kind of a demo. 
So uh, first on the list is the stages, which is the most important part, I would say. So we have uh, four sta uh, five stages, which is Bengaluru, Chennai, Hyderabad, Delhi, and Pune. This is be, uh, why did we come up with the city names? So this has nothing to do with the place you are living in. It's, it's more on, I would say, the hosting PyCon India uh, cities. So we have had uh, PyCon India hosted on this city. So we thought that it would be a good idea to uh, acknowledge, just to add a tiny bit of um, that feeling of uh, offline conferences. So as the Bangalore team was the one who was uh, trying to uh, do the groundwork. So Bangalore stage would be the uh, primary stage where all the keynotes all uh, would happen. Uh, then we would have the Chennai stage, uh, which was 2019 uh, our, uh, team. We had the Hyderabad, which did the PyCon India for on 2018. And then, then we have uh, Delhi, which did in uh, 2016 and 2017. And uh, finally, Pune, if I recall correctly, it was in 2011. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, I have few guidelines on how to you can ask for help. But I'll try to move forward now. So uh, if you see, like this is probably, uh, this is the hop into platform. So we have the stages. And uh, when you click on stages, uh, it is on the left nav bar. Uh, when you click on stages, you will see uh, all the stage listed in there. Uh, so you have Bengaluru, Chennai. So whichever talk is happening, check the schedule and you can join that particular stage. Next, one important thing is on the top nav bar, you will see a small time left and a calendar. So calendar ideally tells you which talk is happening or which talk is going to happen. So this gives you a clear idea uh, on which talks you would like to att attend. So uh, do check the schedule on uh, which uh, stage it is happening and feel free to join in. OK, now moving on to sessions. So apart from stages, we have sessions, which you will see on again on the left nav bar. If you click on it right now, uh, we have a lot of hallway tracks open. So feel free to hop in there and talk to people. Uh, and this will be live for the whole, uh, whole time. Uh, moving forward uh, ahead, I will tell you a couple of more uh, sessions that would be happening. But if I refer to sessions, it's primarily this section I'm referring to. Uh, at last, we have, uh, sorry, not last, but uh, we have hop in networking. So uh, we in networking, uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one pairing. So hop into platform will randomly match you to one person, and you can talk to them for a while. If you are interested, you can also share uh, contact details. Um, moving ahead, so we have the expo. So expo in uh, in an offline setting, it would be the booth area that we had. We uh, so this is just to replicate the whole uh, booth scenario. So feel free to roam around those booths, talk to people uh, over there. So we have, if you see, as I told, like on the left hand side, on the very bottom, you will see the expo, and we have a lot of expo. Every sponsors are in there, so feel free to roam around. Uh, a lot of events will be happening in those sponsor booths, so you would like to not miss, uh, not miss those. And we have a PyCon India help desk. So uh, in expo section, if you have any question and want to talk uh, or any help that you need, feel free to jump, uh, go to this uh, PyCon India help desk in the expo booth and that they would uh, guide you to uh, or answer, love to answer your questions. Uh, the next platform is Zulip, which is our communication platform. And uh, the communication, uh, so this is usually how it looks. So here we talk of streams and topics. So to every top uh, streams have a couple of topics. So you can create your own topics. But essentially, like uh, we have a lot of uh, streams that are online there. So just to add there, all the streams are uh, appended um, pre prefixed by uh, 2020. So if you so any 2020 stream that you see, it's uh, this year's uh, stream, Zulip stream. So feel free to join there and talk there. Um, in case you don't know how to join a new stream, I have shown like there is a small uh, kind of a settings button. If you click on those, it will open up a model window. And you can join those uh, uh, 
streams which are not connected to so i would say like uh, just go through them once there would be there are sponsor streams there are uh, stages if you have questions so speakers would be coming on online on stages so feel free to join there i am also listing a couple of streams to join so announcement is a read only uh, stream where we would be uh, sending on announcement uh, do join that to know what is happening uh, attendees uh, we have attendees discussion help desk and then uh, we have stage rooms which are as i told the cities and then we have the sponsor rooms um, again all the keynotes will be happening on bangalore stage uh, so whenever there is a keynote time do join the bangalore stage to uh, uh, hear to the keynote we are introducing a new track so we got a lot of cfps this year and among this there were a lot of talks which were really good so what the organizers thought that uh, we should add a new track uh, called extend so this is essentially apart from the regular uh, selected talks that we had and uh, this would be happening on the pune stage and finally uh, diversity and inclusion so we are having um, the whole diversity and inclusion team along with the pi ladies have uh, scheduled a lot of sessions so you should uh, visit the pi ladies booth and uh, talk to them about the sessions they are doing and uh, yeah then we have the birds of feathers birds of a feather which is primarily a kind of a discussion that you will have so they would be happening on session so check out the schedule for uh, to know more about the birds of a feather lightning talks so the lightning talks uh, are five minute talks that would be happening uh, the form will be opening uh, just after the keynote so look out for the announcement channels and you will get to know shortly uh, uh, how to fill in uh, for the lightning uh, talk and do remember that uh, lightning talk form would be uh, separate for both the days and something i missed in the previous uh, one was birds of feather will also have a form which will go online after the uh, first keynote that we have after my uh, session then we have the hallway track as i told like we have uh, sessions uh, on hallway tracks which are typically named after the uh, planets so if you have any question or you want to do some chit chatting feel free to uh, join the hallway track uh, the next part is job fair so we are having a lot of companies who are looking to hire so uh, do go out to the booths as a reason like do check out with the sponsors they are having job fair they are open job opening so do join them and there is a job fair happening there in the expo uh, two things as i told in the beginning apart from conference days we are having a workshops and desk sprints so workshop op uh, tickets are open till tomorrow so if uh, the schedule is out we will be opening a couple of more tickets but uh, if you want a ticket the workshops are really amazing we have seven uh, workshops uh, do join those workshop uh, and basically buy a ticket and do join the workshop uh, and the desk sprint so we are, if you see right now the desk sprint tickets are sold out but we are will be opening a couple of more uh, desk sprint tickets tomorrow so uh, keep a lookout in the announcement channel or uh, basically the help desk you can ask anywhere and finally the program guide everyone would have received a welcome email along with the welcome email uh, you would be also receiving a, a virtual swag bag email so this essentially uh, has a program guide which walks you through the whole conference so i cannot cover everything in the uh, in 10 minutes so but this program guide takes you to everything uh, talks about everything and uh, basically you can refer this as a guide for the uh, maximum experience better experience of the conference and finally the most important part the code of conduct so do read the code of conduct the url is given uh, in the uh, um, i have listed the url in there in just it's basically that treat everyone you equally and nicely be respectful to each other and uh, given the uh, offline, uh, sorry, the on uh, virtual setting, uh, please don't spam anyone without their consent. And finally, I leave you all to here. I will give the uh, stage to the Bangalore stage uh, to start off with the keynote. And I hope you all have a very good time.